Paul Eaton, I'm the creator of the eighth, um, and the original idea I think came out of a dream really. Now, I've been reading a lot of Donald Goins and like Clarence Cooper Jr. and Iceberg Slim at the time. And it was sort of like a, you know, you have these dreams. If, you, if you're bombarding your skull with that much sort of like particular literature, it's, you tend to sort of start dreaming that way. Or you, I, I do anyway. The dream was centred on one scene where all the sins were running away. You know, like it was almost like a um, sort of Holocaust type thing, you know, like a or, or um, sort of like a Hiroshima type, you know, like a terrible sort of like people sort of rotting on the streets and running away and things like that. I am honoured to be a part of this and it truly is a magnificent event, a theatrical event. What separates that master race from the hopefuls and the bones? A to calculate equation, a dexterity of thumbs. I suppose he wanted Paul it to be like a real somber and, and, and well put together production of, you know, like all the, where people listen, really listen to the songs and the story and the backstory of the song. And it did work that way where people were leaving applause and really paying attention, which is that is exactly what I think he was going for. He wanted people to take in, especially Reggie Cathy's narration part, you know, through the throughout the thing so they could hear the story and and he, he hit the mark, do you know what I mean? It did it did it really well and they, they seemed to really, really like it. And I say, no nah, man, all the problems in this world come from people who just talk too damn much. <laughs> young Dwayne, young Dwayne say that nobody understand the difference between a want and a need, which I must concede true indeed, but I got a mouth to feed and I done already lost 25 years because of this implacable wrath in my heart. And now you spouting how revolution is evolution. Man, wait me when it's done, son. Meantime, let me hit this here dude. Crack open this here 40 ounce and let Curtis Mayfield do his thing to my ear holes. Working with Paul Heaton has been something that is hard for me to describe because I don't have the vocabulary. I would have to be a poet. He could describe it because he's a poet. He's a, he's a, his lyrics will break your heart. Those melodies, that voice, oh my God. And then when he sings with Jackie, oh. What needs much less out, what needs much more. 